Oh man. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons and Dragons. This is a DLC that I played in the last episode. If you haven't seen that episode, I would definitely go back and watch that one as it's the beginning of this series and you'll get more context about the story and what's going on in this DLC. So without any further ado, let's continue on our adventure. In the last episode, we uh, came up to Candlekeep here and we're just gonna uh, follow the path and see what this place is all about. Now, again, if you haven't watched the last episode, I would recommend going back and checking it out. I'm not gonna rehash what happened in that, but it's very story heavy. So if you don't watch the first episode, you're gonna miss out on a lot. So let's just carry forward here and uh, I'll just sprint through this section. So there's a sign, there's candle keep. I'm very curious to know how many actual areas there are in this game. I hope they touch on all the main areas of D&D. Like I'm not I'm not like uh very familiar with the D&D world. I do I have played a couple of games in the D&D universe, but I'm definitely not um as well versed as some other people would be. These fields look almost untended, and I do not hear any farmhands or livestock. Have these places been abandoned for some reason? Keep a keen eye out. If these people fled their homes, they must have had a good reason to do so. So, yeah. Just uh, for context, for anybody who's still refusing to watch the the, uh, the previous video, the voice that you just heard is Vayer, who is a dragon that is fused to me uh, by some crazy thing that happened in, in the story. So yeah, that's his voice. And my character's voice, my character hasn't said anything yet, but, uh, so I guess we can hop in here. Oh, there's an opening. No, there's no opening. Can you just jump over this fence? Oh yeah, you can. Can you? No. <laughs> this is adventure mode, so, oh, can I? Can't open the door. Okay. I'm not sure if there's anything in here that's, that you're supposed to do, but let's see. I'm assuming you just have to go straight to the keep. Uh, and yeah, my, my character is a paladin. Also, yeah, I can't get in here. There are uh, barrier blocks in the way. Okay, so this just leads up to the castle. Oh, there's somebody over there. Who, me? Talk to the sketchy half one. We're starting to wonder if you'd actually stop to talk. <laughs> what do you need to warn us about? They probably think we're crazy because my character just said us. Well, the guards aren't going to let you in. I saw you coming up the road, and it's pretty clear you're not from here. So no one's going to let you in, even to the court of air. Once again, the voice acting is just really good in this. I'm very impressed. Why aren't they letting strangers in? People are going missing in the area. Travelers and locals alike. Those farms you pass by, for example. Yeah, the families that live there just up and vanished. No sign of an attack or anything. So the people in charge are getting right paranoid and only allowing residents to enter the city. Court of Air? What's the Court of Air? The first time era, it's a yeah. big courtyard area, kind of like a, a small town in itself where people who aren't among the avowed can live, work, and just find some lodging if they're travelers like you. Only the avowed are allowed to stay in the inner ward after all. Who are you, anyhow? Oh, people around here just call me Scratch. It's not a very inspiring nickname, but better give them my real name in case the authorities come sniffing around. <laughs> Used to work in the city office as a scribe, but, uh, didn't work out. So how do we get in? If you're gonna enter Candlekeep, you're gonna need a residence pass. Oh boy, here we go. They handed them out to all the locals in their jurisdiction, but it was pretty rushed, and 
With my special set of skills, I can make one that will fool the guards into letting you through the gate. What do you say? 25 gold and the documents will be all yours. Okay. This is the first time the dice roll comes into play. This is actually really cool. So, 25. And we can use insight. Uh, we can barter or we can intimidate. Let's go with insight. It really sounds like working with him is the only way into the city and ah. that he's offering a fair price. Okay, so we failed that dice roll. Barter, intimidate. All right, we'll try them all. You'll do this for free, otherwise I'm reporting you to the guards. Ah, come on. Nice try, but you're not the first to use that angle. It's 25. <laughs> okay, so you failed both. Fine, we have a deal. Good. Now, I can't make this pass from nothing, and I sold my last copy a week ago, so you'll need to find one of your own that I can modify. Okay. Look at those farmhouses, though. The families there were either taken or left in a hurry. They might have one or two lying around. Bring back a copy, plus payment, and I'll get to work. Be careful, though. The people are gone, but I've heard some rustling around. Of course. Of strange sounds. Never seen anything, but it gives me the creeps. And I think I saw someone go into one of those houses, maybe to stay the night, but I never saw them come out. Probably just missed them, though. Good luck! <laughs> okay. Of Obviously, we there's have some to stuff. do the legwork. We, I'm the one doing all the work. You're just along for the ride. I will contribute as best I can. My advice by itself could prove invaluable. Yeah, if you ever give it. <laughs> okay. Oh, the doors are open now. So there's obviously going to be some fighting going on over here. Somewhere. Oh, you can walk right through this. Okay. Oh, you can actually sleep. Nice. Okay. So, daytime now? Yeah. Nope. Can't, uh, can't go through. Okay. Oh, so these are searchable. I wish I could open things without, you know, attacking, but... Okay, so that's it for those. Go back down. Next house. Can I attack these scarecrows? Yeah. Cool. Huh. Oh! Some sort what? of construct, it would seem. Oh, jeez. Presume that it is guarding this house, unless someone left it with more malicious and. Oh God, there's more. Thanks, okay. but that Let's advice our... isn't helping me to kill it. Oh, Just lots tear of it apart. If it cannot hold itself together, it is no threat. To think you needed my help to figure even that out. Oh yeah. Any more behind? Did that actually do something? Yeah, it did. Oh man. That's so cool. Okay, are the rest of you guys gonna come to life? Oh, there's another one over there. Just for you, buddy. Oh, that didn't even kill him. Sword's got more range than I would think. Look at this. I can hit from way back here. Wow. What? Seems way farther than I would have expected. Might as well. <laughs> That's so satisfying. Okay. What were those things doing on a farm? I don't think seagulls justify that level of protection. No, perhaps they wandered here. Rogue constructs are not unheard of. Still, you might learn something if you look around. Then again, what have scarecrows to do with our mission? Not much, I guess. Katra, I'm going to try something. Do not be alarmed if things start to look different. Huh? Wait, what? Whoa. OK. 
Okay, what's going on? I said not to be alarmed. I was uncertain if I could do this while in your body, but my intimate connection to the material plane allows me certain privileges of perception when... Plain speak, please. Village kid, remember? Of course. In essence, I can see some elements of magic. Mm -hmm. How enchantments work, their origin or nature, what they draw power from. It depends on the situation, but you get the gist of it. Perhaps this will help on occasion, though I must admit that it is somewhat taxing to use this ability with your body. Please be quick. So what does this red stuff mean? What red stuff? Without getting into the fine details, this is residual magic from what was powering those scarecrows. It tells us that, in this case, these constructs were powered by magic drawn from the lower planes. Lower planes? Other realities connected to ours, where evil things like devils and demons live, among other unsavory entities. Hades, the Abyss, Pandemonium, none of them too pleasant to visit. What would that kind of magic be doing here? I cannot say. Some people draw power from such places, making contracts with fiendish creatures, or finding other ways to tap into those plane's powers. Sometimes creatures from there also escape into the world, either through a summoning gone wrong or random circumstance. We have too little information to judge by. Still, this is worrisome. Be careful, lest a Garistro catch you by surprise and turn you into a snack. That what? A what now? Giant minotaur-like pig bat-faced demon <laughs> thing. <laughs> what? Not great at parties. Giant minotaur-like pig bat-faced demon. Wow. Vair, was that a joke? Do not call me that. Okay. The hole where the scarecrow's state goes is less than a week old. The hole where the scarecrow's stake goes is less than a week old. Okay. Furthermore, there are tracks from the scarecrows around here, but the oldest ones are accompanied by a set of normal boot prints that, upon very close inspection, match even older tracks that seem to readily move into and out of the home. Hmm. Perhaps these were set by the farmer. What would that kind of magic be doing? I cannot see. Sometimes creatures from there also with... Alright. So... What? Oops. Hmm. Okay, so nothing in here. I'm not sure what I was supposed to get from all that information, to be honest. The tracks, or sorry. Oh, I see. Oh no, those are flowers. Uh, so she said, the narrator said um, that, that the scarecrow, the holes were a, are a week old, less than a week old. Oh, this is open now. Okay. Or was this not open before? And that perhaps the farmer set these up? Hmm. Oh, chest. Whoa. Rotten onion. What am I supposed to do with rotten onions? I'll take them anyway. Some money. Pro oh, here we go. Proof of residence. Oh, there's two. That was easy. Folded and then stuffed haphazardly among a pile of now rotting onions, you find a piece of parchment marked with an official looking seal and titled Evidence of Residence in the Candlekeep Territories. A bit wordy and a bit more aromatic than you'd like, but it should do the trick. Okay. Good. Now return to that individual scratch. Let us hope that he is adequate to the task. 
cope or not, we don't have any other options to resort to, Vair. Why must you insist on calling me that? <laughs> it's what everyone in the village called you. It's easier than saying your full name. Be glad that I am a magnanimous and forgiving dragon. Else I would be inclined to start tearing up your mind again. Don't worry. You're already a big enough headache as it is. <laughs> ah, is that a bit of legal documentation I see there? And smell? <sighs> okay, well, you work with what you've got, right? Give me a bit to scrape off and refinish the important parts, then I'll start with colour match and then confirm in handwriting, and your eyes are glazing over. <laughs> just, just, just give me the goods and wait a bit. And here you go. Certification that you absolutely belong to the area and can come and go as you like. Just don't let any wizards near it. They get curious, they've probably got spells or something that can sniff out a forgery. Otherwise, though, no one will ever be the wiser. It's all a castle! Whoa. He ran off and I wanted to see where he was going and the game wouldn't let me. Uh, too bad you can't have him as a follower. That would be cool. Be useful to have his abilities. Is there anything under the stairs? No. Alright, so now we can go talk to you. Papers, please. Here's my resident certificate. The guard glances at the paper, noting the seal and the signatures that does not peer too closely. Watching him scrunch up his nose, the cursory inspection might have to do with not wanting to put his face too close to the smell of rancid onions. <laughs> All right, everything looks fine. Head on in. Just keep an eye out for any strange activity. Same voice that does Katra's voice. Passing through the city walls, you are dumped into a large, open square that seems to double as a marketplace. It is not exactly brimming with life, but considering how you've lived nearly all of your life in a small village, the number of people in one place is staggering and the activity threatens to be overwhelming. Good. That was tedious, but we made it. Now the next part could be problematic. Only the Avowed and certain others are allowed into the inner ward through the Emerald Door on the far side of this courtyard. Talk to the Keeper there and determine what is required to get in and speak with one of the experts. Okie doke, but first it looks like some shopping can be done. 35 gold for whatever this is. It doesn't show you what kind of uh, sword or what, I mean what kind of benefit it has, but let's see. How do you... Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Copper sword, 35. A decent blade, well-crafted, but not anything special. So it gives one strength, one dexterity, and plus one wisdom. Sure, why not? So did that increase my stats? Oh yeah, and one thing I also forgot completely about was um, I got some stat points from the last episode that I never spent. Let's see. Uh, oh, what the, what did I do? Uh, okay. Stats, here we go. Two stat points available. So we want to go with, uh, increase the cooldown. That, that's actually, that would actually be good. Um, so let's do, how do I, ah. Right. Let's do that. I don't want any negative stats. And I don't have any more. Um, okay. That's. Do you actually get to go to Baldur's Gate? That would be cool. Alright. So let's get out of here. Okay, and then over here we've got some potions, it looks like. Healing potion. I don't think I need that because I can heal myself. Regen potion. Yeah, same deal. Strength potion. En enhance your strength temporarily. That sounds cool. 
could get us out of a sticky situation. Confidence potion. Small flake flakes are suspended in this viscous potion. Drinking it will en enhance your charisma temporarily. Oh, 50 gold. I already have one of those. I found it. And this is a speed potion. Okay. Increases dexterity for 25. Sure, why not? What do we got over here? Ooh. Oh, man. Maybe I shouldn't have spent. Okay. What do we got? Uh, shiny helmet. Oh, a durable if gaudy helmet for a paladin. Nice. I will buy that. And then over here we've got... Oh, so it's just going to be paladin stuff. Uh, a decent piece of outerwear with high durability and mobility. Okay. Uh, what is this? Oh, there's... A decent set of legwear for a knight in training. Plus one strength, plus one... Okay. Uh, confidence. A well-crafted pair of iron boots seems a bit cumbersome. Wisdom and charisma. So what am I lacking in right now? Let's see. Uh, wisdom and intelligence would be good to have because I believe wisdom is... Okay, yeah. Both of those would be good. Oops. So let's see. Is there one that gives both wisdom and intelligence? Wisdom and charisma. Strength and uh, confidence. Is it confidence? Yeah. This is confidence and charisma. And this is wisdom and charisma. Isn't that what I said? I need wisdom and charisma? Or I said intelligence. Ah, oh, man. Hold on. Intelligence and wisdom. Let's go with the boots, yeah. There we go. Okay, so now, am I already wearing them? Okay, so... Does it automatically... Yeah, looks like it automatically equips stuff. Nice. That's handy. Alright, let's see what we got over here. The, the Merry Unicorn Inn. Uh, everyone's kind of stuck in the corner. Hello? No? Okay. Can't do anything there. I guess we have to talk to you. What business have you here, child? I need a scholar. What's your job? Goodbye. I wish to speak with one of the researchers. <laughs> you and everyone else. Do you have an appointment or a letter of introduction? Help the dragon. Yes. Oh. I am to speak Ooh. with avowed Tenbri. Hmm. There is no Tenbri on our list of avowed expecting appointments. Not today, nor tomorrow, nor any time this week, it would seem. If I were to hazard a guess, I would wager that we do not even have an avowed name, Tenbury, or if we do, that they have never heard of you. Keep this up, and I will make sure that the guards remove you from the city, so that none of the avowed ever hear from you, except perhaps while doing a census on criminal activity. Yikes. Gotta say, you're a rather rude and unpleasant person. I'll be looking for more friendly company now. Maybe in the nearest pig pen or among the rats. <laughs> Very well. I'm glad to see that you have acknowledged where you belong. Oh, burn. All right. Well, that was a dead end. This is unacceptable. We must find someone to assist us and soon. I can only imagine what those monsters are doing with my body and already I chafe at being confined to yours. Wow, thanks. Well, do you happen to know where we could find a rare or unique book? No. Distasteful as this may be, we might have to find another dubiously legal way around this problem. Actually, I remember passing a sewer grate earlier. If there are sewers for this outer area, then they surely have some for the inner ward. So, you want me to break into a sewer, sneak through Ogma knows what kind of filth, and then break into the inner ward to, what, kidnap or threaten a scholar into helping us? Presumably, we would be able to find someone more reasonable, or at least amenable to our request. However, we cannot do that from out here. 
The sewers are our only option right now. You only say this because you won't have to smell what I do. Ah, he can smell, remember? He smelled smoke before. Actually, I will. You think I only see through your eyes? Child, I am bound to experience everything that you do. Believe me, sharing in your bodily functions these past weeks has been far from enjoyable. Ew. Okay, point taken. Uh, sewers it is then, I guess? Alright, I forgot I have this wayfinder thingy. Is it actually... Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Ooh. Uh, this is what living in a city means? How can one place produce so much filth? You sounded as if you knew what you were getting into. I thought I did. Didn't think it'd be this plentiful. The... The byproduct of civilization. People are messy. Thayer? Are you okay? Do not call me that. It's strange. Even without a body or the need to breathe, I feel a tightness in my chest. Lightheadedness. I... I think that it would be best to spend as little time in here as possible. Please, hurry through this place. Okay. What's going on, or joke? What's going on? Wait, you don't sound so good. What's going on? I just... We need to move quickly. You are wasting time. Something is definitely wrong. Are you hurt? In danger? No. Now move. Go. Let's, let's keep pestering. Is there anything I can do to help? No. Now stop asking idiotic questions. <laughs> well... I was actually just getting used to the smell. Thought maybe we could wander around a bit? Maybe find a spot for a picnic? No. We will move through here as quickly as possible. Do you understand? All right, let's make this quick. I actually like to look at everything and loot everything, so I don't think that this is gonna be quick. I don't think there's much that you can loot anyway. This isn't Skyrim after all. Uh, there's definitely going to be some enemies down here, I would think. That is the right direction, and it seems to no longer be sewers beyond this point. These are probably the tunnels running beneath the inner ward I have heard of. Catacombs, vaults, labs. Much of the work and knowledge of the avowed is down here, it seems. Unfortunately, there is a ward on the door. You will need to find a key, unless you wish to be fried. Uh, no. No, I don't. Will I actually get hurt if I touch this? No. Okay. Uh... I'm surprised there's- oh, there's a chest. I'm surprised there have been no enemies yet. Ooh. Perfect. Ah, oh. Wow. Okay, good thing I didn't buy healing potions. Or regen potions. Okay. Uh, oh, so that's the way I came. Wait, look at that. On the ground. There's nothing on the ground. Precisely. Helpful. The rest of this place is a riot of grime and muck, child, yet this path is almost spotless. I would be willing to bet half of my entire horde that a gelatinous cube has come this way. Oh, great. A what now? An oozing monster that inhabits places like this. Some people and more intelligent creatures keep them as witless guardians and janitors. The things absorb and dissolve any animal or plant material they touch as a way of eating. 
They cannot dissolve metals and other non-living things, though, so they can carry the equipment and goods of whomever they have eaten for some time. Oh, God. Whomever? As in people? Of course. Do not be dense, child. Now follow this trail. You might find something interesting floating in the cube's body. Just be careful, though, as they can be transparent and thus easy to overlook. Oh, man. What's this? Nothing. There, look. The thing has a key inside of it. It <laughs> must have eaten a maintenance worker or one of the avowed. <laughs> that might get us out of the sewers and into the cleaner part we saw earlier. Just don't let the creature suck you up. Please. an enchantment quite similar to the one on the locked doors embedded in this key. It should work to get us through. And what if it sets off the trap? Then you had best hope that the mage who put it there said it more as a deterrent rather than a defense. Well, that that uh, slime was easy enough. What is going on over here? A missing texture or something. <laughs> ah. I have to... Remember to not do that. Okay, so we need to go this way. Back through here. What else did I pick up from that? Uh, so I got the key and oh, strength potion and oh, that's the, the ones that I bought. Okay, so wait a sec. Oh, yeah, down here. the door okay okay just going to open the door <laughs> the magically trapped door stuffed with potentially lethal lightning right okay nice and still alive right well that's uh that's good yeah oh be not so dramatic you could find much worse before we are done here I have heard tell that there are guardians and occasional escaped experiments down here Though that may just be rumor. Wow, thanks. The possibility of even greater danger certainly sets my mind at ease. Thanks, Fire. Stop calling me that. For someone who lives in a cave, he certainly certainly knows a lot about other things. Now look at this, we're in Skyrim now. Think these guys are gonna come to life? Oh, Uh, this guy's just chilling out over here. I have a feeling that I'm going to be fighting these things. No? Okay. This is really well designed. I like this. Aha. What? Whoa. Chest mimic. Whoa. It got me. It uh, definitely tricked me. job that creature was known as a mimic yeah i've heard of those things didn't expect it to be so uh, slimy though uh, <laughs> why did it have a key inside of it though did it eat someone like the cube did probably not otherwise we would have seen some more 
gruesome evidence of the meal. No, some people feed mimics various items that they need to hide or protect. If you know how to handle one of these things, they can be rather convenient guardians. As long as you keep them fed, that is. Yeah, I can imagine the alternative. Alright. So does that open that gate over there? I'm guessing. Yep. What is that? A giant sewer rat. Wait, what? Okay, well they were easy enough, whatever they are. There's another one. Oh, there's lots of things over there. Okay, there's that. Alright. What are you guys? Brother. We are in Skyrim, see? Did I get both of them? No. Oh, there's lots. Okay. Oh, yeah. I knew I'd have to fight them eventually. Oh, that was well placed. Haha. <laughs> nice. There's still more. Anything up here? Nope. Go over here. I haven't had to use any of my potions, but... Oh, there's another one of those slimes over there. You drop some coins, and that's it. All right. Ooh. Is that another mimic? Yep. <laughs> You're not going to fool me this time, buddy. Ah, I'm stuck. Oh, it's had me stuck against the wall there. All good. I can heal. Alright. I'm reaching the end of this place. Not yet. It's gonna be a long episode. I want to get to the end of this area at least, or I call it. Oh. Hmm. Wait, I didn't go backwards today. All the rooms are starting to look the same. I think I did go backwards. 
That's why you should always use the Wayfinder. Hmm. How did I get turned around like that? Wait. Oh, maybe I didn't. What? I'm so confused. What happened? Uh, am I supposed to go through here? This is where I came from, I think. Right? Yeah, it's not letting me go back through there. Well, I'm lost in the catacombs, it seems. Let's try going this way. Yeah, no, I've definitely been here. So, I'm missing something in that downstairs area. This way? Yeah, this is where the, the mimic and the slime were, right? Uh, yeah, I think it was this way. And then, oh, there we go. How did I end up getting all turned around like that? There's nothing in there. This um, marker is not very useful either. Haha. It's cool how they have battle music that changes when you're in battle. Okay. Oh, what are those? Oh, whatever it is it's just got vaporized. Boom. On fireball. Ah, I was trying to hit the ground near them, but. I don't know if that actually would work. Definitely good to put points into crit chance. That's been quite helpful. Oh, hello. See that? Ow. Oh man, let's see if I can do this. Actually, I don't want to waste a fireball in case I miss. That fireball now. Any time. Boom. Eh. Oh. These guys are tough. In large numbers. Not really, actually. All right, what do we got? Uh,
The combat feels surprisingly good in this. I, like, I know this is layered on top of Minecraft, but they did a really good job. Alright. Ah, oh, I didn't have to waste a fireball on him, he's already half out. We have a lot of enemies here. Is there like a spawner or something? What's the story here? Just a lot of enemies, I guess. Okay. That was interesting. Something? No. Oh man. Oh, okay. Oh, jeez. This is going to be challenging. I need to deal with this little dude first. Woo. Oh man, it just sends you flying. I should do it. Wow. That was cool. Alright. That's gotta be... Like, close to the end of this area type thing. Two. Ah! That's the first time one of those hit me. Something new. Oh my god. feel very powerful in this game. Chest mimic? No. <laughs> Am I never gonna get a regular chest ever again? Here. Well, 
Unfortunately, it seems that this ensorcelled armor is tied to the exit. Unless you have a powerful dispelling magic at your disposal that you have neglected to mention, you will have to defeat this thing to undo the seal over the door. You're saying I have to fight a piece of armor with no obvious weaknesses, or even a person inside to take out? <coughs> Let me guess, I have to just beat it into a useless hunk of metal, kind of like I did the Scarecrows? Precisely. I'm really <laughs> starting to hate constructs. Defeat the animated armor, okay. So there seems to be some books over here. I think they're just decoration. Let's see. Does this thing have... Oh, God. Oh, he's not so tough. Ow. I got you. Let's finish him off with the fireball. Ow! Stop that. Finally. Yeah. Oh, this better be worth all the trouble we've gone to, Vayir. How are Stop we going to get that. someone to help us, though? We're breaking in. Let us consider that later. First, we need to get out of these tunnels. Someone might have heard the battle or noticed that the enchantment of the door is broken. We can determine our course once we are safely hidden within the inner ward. Hey, chests lying around? No? Okay. All right, we are out of the catacombs. Nice. Uh, all right, I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I don't wanna trigger any further dialogue or anything once I go up this ladder. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that episode and thanks for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, check out the Fizz and Fuzz Discord, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.